Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this video I will show you how to use Ventoy to create a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive in either Windows or Linux. So since I've got a dual boot set up on my computer with Manjaro and Windows 10, each installed on separate SSDs, I do occasionally have to create a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive, which is something that I would historically have done using Rufus. But uh, since Rufus is only available on Windows, I did attempt to use some Linux equivalents, and that included Blender Etcher and Whirl USB, but none of these methods actually worked. So I searched, for, searched around for a little bit and I found another solution, uh, which is Ventoy. And this is cross-platform and works with both Windows and Linux. So Ventoy is an open source tool that will allow you to create a bootable USB drive for ISO files. Now where it actually differs from other tools is that instead of extracting the ISO file itself to the flash drive, you actually copy it across to a separate partition and then boot directly off the ISO file. And what this really means is that uh, once you've formatted this flash drive, you never need to do it again. And the only other changes you never need to do is just to copy the ISO files onto the partition and just delete and replace them as you required. So before we actually install Ventoy onto the flash drive, we need to make sure that the drive in question is formatted correctly. And I found the easiest method for doing this is to use GNOME disks, which can usually be found in your distribution repository. So in my particular case, the 8 gig drive is my flash drive that I got inserted. So what we need to do is delete any existing partitions, which we can do by clicking the minus button. And delete. And then if we press the plus button to create a new partition, quickly run through this and make sure that we choose the internal disk for use with Linux systems only, EXT4. Let that go through the motions. So that's now created. So we need to just take reference of where the flash drive is referred to. So in my particular case, it's referenced at dev slash SDE. Now we need to remember that because we'll need this for the next step. So for installation, the first step we need to do is download the archive that has the latest version of Ventoy, extract it, and open up a terminal window in that extracted folder. So let's click on that to do that. Scroll on to the bottom of here and choose the tar -G -G gz archive. Let's extract this here. And inside the folder, let's create a terminal. Or rather, open up a terminal window. Now, we need to type the following, referencing where the flash drive is located. So if we type the following, sudo sh then toy to disk with a capital D dot sh space dash oh, capital i forward slash dev slash sde so again referencing the 8 gig drive we have so if we press enter here we'll be prompted for our password and we'll just quickly run through how to set this up so the first one is just to confirm that you're going to install it to that particular flash drive and that all the data on the disk will be lost. Yes, that's fine. And again, tell you that all the data will be lost. Yes, that's fine. And now it's going to go through the, the versions of installing Ven, uh, Ventoy onto that flash drive. And as you can see over here, the partitions have been created now. So that process is now finished. And as you can see, there's two partitions. You've got Ventoy and you've got the, the VTOY EFI. Now the VENTOY is what the partition we're actually going to be using, as what we're going to do is we're going to download the latest version of the Windows 10 ISO and actually copy it across to that partition. And if you're wondering what the partition looks like, it is literally just a single partition here. So you can download the latest version of the Windows 10 ISO from this site here. I've already done this just to save on a bit of time. So I've got it in here in my downloads. So now we're just going to copy that into the Ventoy 
directory. Paste it in there. And that should be done shortly. Again, depending on, on how fast your flash drive is, this could take a couple of seconds or it could take a couple of minutes. Okay, so that's now copied across. So all we need to do now is to reboot the system and boot off the flash drive. Now chances are that when you do that, you'll see something similar to the screenshots on the Ventoy page. So select the ISO you've just copied across and you'll find that the installation process for Windows 10 will just run as normal. So in conclusion, Ventoy is a brilliant tool for creating bootable media in Linux and Windows and due to its design, and of course, assuming that you have a large enough flash drive, you can technically copy off, copy across several ISO files to the drive and ju then just boot off the one that you require for your installation. So with that, it brings this video to an end. As always, thank you very much for watching. And if you did find this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.